this will end up being a four inch bowl, four inches deep that is, and whatever width we can get it. Oh, it looks good. This is a good solid piece of four and a half inch thick on Looks like we can get pretty easily an 18 or 19 inch wide hole up. We want to stay a little bit away from that end just in case there's a crack there we can't see. Give it a little whack and start the circle. This will be a pedestal bowl. All envisioning what you can get out of this log. What will be the best use for this piece of wood? Now sometimes we have pieces that we really can't do much with because we have to lay things out in a certain way, but we won't let that go to waste. My favorite part! Get a look at that ingrain. That is a premium piece of wood. What we're going to be doing here is cutting up these larger chunks of wood into manageable pieces. This piece right here weighs approximately 120 to 180 pounds. We'll cut it into a smaller box and from there cut it into a circular form getting ready for the rough formed process. And the roughing process will allow us to dry the wood more evenly and quickly. Here we are at the lathe. We'll be cutting this green wood uh, down into a smoother round form. We'll also be hollowing out the center, giving a wall thickness of about an inch to inch and a half. Again, this will facilitate the drying process, making a quicker dry, as well as being able to evenly dry many different sizes of products at the same rate. Our shop here, we use the wood cut bowl coring to, instead of eliminating the center of the bowl out in shavings we're able to cut a second bowl blank out from the core of it thereby conserving this very valuable wood into the form of another bowl what i'm doing right now is i'm just getting ready to stack these in our dry kiln once we get it all stacked in here though and have a full load we'll run the dry kiln with dehumidifier and heat going and everything for a period of about six to eight weeks. Occasionally we have to run on up to almost 12 weeks. If you can imagine each one of those little grain patterns is like a little straw that funnels all the, the sap and the nutrition for the tree. Everything in here actually has already been dried through the dried kiln. This is a holding room. We maintain the temperature in here and try to maintain the humidity. So what we have here is a myrtle wood bowl blank. This bowl has been roughed out to about a one and one and quarter inch uh, wall thickness, all the way from the side down to the bottom. And that allows us to dry this piece of wood much quicker. So now you can see the bottom of this bowl is quite rough. What we're gonna do is we're gonna sand the bowl on the bottom. And that allows two things. One, for it to mount smoothly on the face plate and also so that we have a nice smooth bottom on this bowl. Also after that, we will be drilling a center hole uh, just, shallow, just deep enough so that we know where to turn down to.
We always like to sharpen our tools before we burn. What I'm doing here, uh, after I've kind of shaped in the bowl in a rough shape, is I'm going to make shear cuts. Now these shear cuts are what smooths out the bowl so that we can sand it more easily. The outside of our bowl is smooth now. Looks great. We're ready for the inside. That bowl is ready for sale.